Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how I double my images to make a bigger image when using the 8x11 um, letter size sublimation paper because my printer only prints the 8x11. Sorry. Um, so that is what I'm going to show you guys today. I'm going to flip the camera around and point you at my computer. Okay, um, ignore my children in the background. Um, first, what you're going to do is you're going to upload your design into your design space. I personally use Silhouette and I make my paper size from over here. I have it on the 12 by 12 mat and this is letter size 8.5 by 11. You're going to want to turn on your print border right here where it says show print border. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your image. This is my whole design and you're going to put it on your paper um, size in there. Okay, so then you're going to move your design on here. If you're going to look right here, you'll see my print border and you'll see that it hangs off the side. That is what you want. So I'm going to take my image and I'm going to mirror it just because I prefer doing it this way. You can have your printer settings to mirror if you want. So I'm going to need to fix that. Just move it back over and you'll see where it lines up right with the edge right here and you'll see it's still hanging off. So I'm going to go up here, hit print. I'm going to print it to my eco tank and I already have those settings in here and I'm just going to hit print. Okay. Then after this prints, it's processing. My computer is really slow. Um, you're going to take your image, excuse me. You're going to take your whole image and you're going to slide it over. So here you'll see that I'm still going to print some of what I've already printed. Um, that is what you want so that you can overlap your paper. So then I'm going to print this second half of my paper. Let's print this again, just that second half and print. So that is the easy part of this tutorial. Um, I will come back and show you how to attach the two pieces together. Okay. Now, I have my two pieces printed. You will see that they overlap, okay? This one has less on my paper and this one has more. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take your scissors and you're going to trim up that line as close as you can get. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to be overlapping this side anyways. Okay. Then you're going to do the same thing on this one. This is just where the print line cuts off because it won't print on the whole piece of paper. a little piece of white right here. So I'm gonna cut that off. So now that I have both of these cut, you're gonna take your heat tape. This comes in a pack of two off Amazon. Two rolls. It is the 10 millimeter by 33 millimeter. Okay, for time's sake, I've already cut my pieces and this is how you're gonna do it. Okay, so you're gonna take your two pieces like this. Okay, so you're gonna take your two pieces like this and you see I'm going to overlap them 
until they line up almost perfectly. And this is why you wanna overlap. So I'm also seeing here that I missed a little bit of white. So I'm gonna go back and I'm going to cut that just a little bit. Okay, so I fixed that. Normally white wouldn't matter because it doesn't print anyways, but in this case it does matter because you don't wanna get a line in your um, image. So what I'm gonna do is line up the bottom first. Where's my H? All right, right there. Okay. So you'll see that my bottom is pretty much lined up. Now, see, I'm going to go towards the top and pull until it all lines up. Okay. Then you're going to take your heat tape like so and put it along the crease and over to the back while holding your paper in place, okay? Then you're gonna do the same thing at the top. Like I said, cut this ahead of time so you're not having to worry about it. Take your heat tape and just go over that crease. Now it is all lined up. You're going to flip your paper over Again, put some more heat tape on there. And <laughs> you are good to go. So now you're gonna take this, you're gonna press it like you normally would. You will not see this heat tape on your shirt. And I will come back and show you what it looks like when I press it. All right, excuse the horrible lighting. I am in my garage. Um, I have my heat press is set to two. 391, so it's still warming up a little bit, but I wanted to show you um, how you do this. So you see it's still connected together. You are just going to flip it. Um, I personally add a tiny piece of heat tape up here at the top just to hold it still. Um, and then you're going to press it. You will see now that my image is still 11, but instead of being eight across, it is 11 across um, because this is where the end of it is. You see that I cut it. So this one is 11 by 11 for this shirt and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so I haven't bleached it yet, but you'll see it is bigger. This is 11 by 11. This is 11 by 8.5. So it is bigger and that is how you make your images if you have a smaller printer. I personally, when I bought my sublimation printer, could not afford the um, larger eco tank. So I went with this one and I don't do a lot of larger images, but when I do, just do it this way. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments.